news out of El Dorado County, where a search for a missing woman has turned into a homicide investigation, and her husband is under arrest for murder. The sheriff's department confirming they believe they have found missing 33-year-old mother Heather Gumina's remains. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 5. I'm Steve Large. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is in El Dorado County with the tragic late-breaking details. Marissa. Well, Steve, a shocking twist to this case again. As you mentioned just moments ago, we are learning that this has now become a homicide investigation. 44 year old Anthony Gabina now facing murder charges related to the death of his wife, Heather Gabina Waters. Sadly, the sheriff's office also telling us tonight her remains have been, what they believe are her remains, have also been found. Here's what we know at this point. Last night, Anthony Gabina seen in these photos here, was arrested on a no bail warrant for domestic violence. And at the same time, the sheriff's office searched the Pleasant Valley area where this couple lived. The sheriff's office says they found what they believe are the remains of Heather Gamina Waters, and now her husband is charged with homicide. Now, Gamina Waters disappeared from her Pleasant Valley home back in mid-July, and since then, friends and family have been desperately searching for her. On August 9th, police found her car empty, abandoned along a remote road here in El Dorado County. Now, for the past month, the search for Heather has taken over this community, including a big effort on social media to keep the community informed. Friends of Heather posted in light of this latest development just moments ago, saying in part, we successfully continue to keep this page about five Finding Heather, we'd like to thank you for your prayers, passion, and continuous devotion to her and her family. At this time, we're asking that the family be left alone to grieve in private. Again, devastating news to the family, to a uh, family of this mother of three at 33 years old. And again, really, this entire community, once again, her husband here in custody, in jail at the center of this homicide investigation. We're going to continue to get answers for you tonight. We'll bring you the latest on this developing story tonight at 10 o'clock. Steve. All right, and those details forthcoming, of course, in the investigation and in the trial as well. Thanks for that, Marissa.